I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an old HP laptop. These ones are HP DM4 models and they do come with an iCore 7 processor, I believe second gen or third gen, but they are still good to go. But people like, oh they're really slow, I want to speed them up. I made a video how to upgrade the RAM on these models to speed up a little bit for programs if you have lots of tabs opening. But if you really want to speed it up, the bottleneck on these laptops are the mechanical drive, not the processor. So in this video, I'm going to take you step by step how to upgrade the mechanical drive from here to a solid state drive. You can grab, I will leave the link in the description for a few solid state drives, which you can get. The cheap brands are Kingston and one of the best brands are the Samsung models. All right, the tools that you're going to be needing is simply a screwdriver set. Uh, we're going to be using an iFix set and the screwdriver set. Uh, we're going to be using bed number double uh, number zero Phillips from here. And that's all the tool that you're going to be needing. Also, you will need, even once you do, you replace your SSD drive in here with a mechanical drive. You turn it on, you will not have any boot operating system in here. So you will need to create your own USB Windows 10 or Windows 7, whatever you like, your USB boot drive. I made a video on how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll do, leave the link in the video description. And uh, you can actually, I made another video showing guys how to install it on an HP laptop. It's really simple and it's not hard. Follow the step-by-step, -step, the correct way of installing Windows without the bloatwares, all those things installed. I'll leave those two links in the video description. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace it and just how to get it started installing your Windows, just the basic. And then you can continue watching the installation through my other video. First thing first, you want to power it off. Then you want to flip it upside down. And first thing first, you want to remove the battery. So by sliding this trigger, toward this side and lifting up the battery backward now to remove this cover the hard drive is right over here but you can't remove it unless you remove this first cover this first cover has two screws right underneath here one here one here this they do have a c-lock on them so you just have to twist them and except this one that i replaced that it was broken so go ahead and remove the two screws Remember, your screws will not come out entirely. So once you loosen them up, just slide the cover backward towards the battery. You're going to see a gap opening right over here. I'm going to remove this screw here because this screw will come out. Okay, just go ahead. There you go. And just go ahead and lift it up. And there's your cover. You see this screw, they have a tiny C-lock on this other side, except this one that was broken. So I replaced it. Once you remove this, this cover, now you're going to remove these two screws right here. Again, they are sealed locked, so just loose them up. And then you just want to lift it up from here, from the front side where the screws are, and bring it up. In here, I already removed the hard drive. The hard drives for these ones are, because I was going to upgrade it for a client. It was this one right here, so let's plug it in so you guys know how it was it comes right there there's no screws or anything they have a little sponge on the back side here on the side to keep it from moving around so all you need to do is to grab this flip thing here and just lift it up bring it up and you don't need to disconnect the cable from motherboard just grab it grab the adapter here and pull the adapter backwards gently okay so once you remove the adapter, you don't need this uh, shielding, all this aluminum shielding here. But if you do want to remove this aluminum shielding from here to replace it on your SSD drive, again, just make sure the orientation of the connectors are the same way. Remove the screw from there. Remove the screw from here. And grab this aluminum foil, which only doesn't do anything except cool it down probably by half a half degree. So I wouldn't see I used for removing the aluminum from here. So if you remove it, wrap it around here, put the screws or don't. It does the same for the SSD drive. It doesn't matter. 
and just connect that right there and bring it and put it right shove it down there okay once you have the ssd drive in there all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover bring it over uh, first align the back corner underneath right there and bring it down then what you want to do you want to grab the screwdriver and screw the two screws right on top here grab the service cover on the top side bring it in an offset position align it in there and then slide it towards the other cover and then put the screws right at the back so let's grab this one and let's screw that actually I removed there we go and the last thing would be to just grab the battery put the back end of the battery down first and then push it all the way in now once we turn it on there's not going to be any operating system or let's say if you salvage the SSD from another one and you have a windows in it you want to format it so we're going to start a basic installation in here just uh, see how you can boot it up through the USB. I have Windows 10 in here. I'm just gonna plug it to any of port. Make sure you don't have any CD in a DVD drive or anything like that. There we go. There was a DVD in here. So now that we have the DVD drive, uh, I mean the USB in here plugged in, make sure you have your Windows 10 USB drive plugged in. Do you don't have any DVD drive in here? Remove the DVDs. I'm just gonna leave it out open. You're gonna press the power on button, and as soon as you see the logo, hit escape a couple of times, and then you're gonna get a menu. In this menu, you're gonna it says F1 for system information, F2 for system diagnostic, F9 for boot device option. You're gonna press F9, and then in here it's gonna show you notebook, hard drive, internal DVD drive, and your USB drive, whatever name that you have. Mine it shows up as a UFD2 silicon, some name. So you're gonna go down and you're gonna choose your USB. Now it's gonna start booting up from there and it's gonna take you to the installation of the Windows 10. Again, if you wanna see the proper way of installing Windows 10, just follow the instructions in my other video that I showed you what steps, what to click and how to get to the in desktop and what application that you should remove before connecting to the internet so you don't have all those blood words everything installed there you go that's the windows 10 installation and the next steps is just following the steps and then you should have your windows installed within 10 to 15 minutes all right guys i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click that like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel if you have any question or request, please feel free to leave them in a the video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.